575 watt meat grinder. It's not even close to one horsepower. And you're done. That's it. So as you can see, the blades are spinning. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started on this. Uh, sorry the camera's up so high, but it's gonna be easier to get everything in the picture. So I've got 10 pounds of elk uh, scraps cut into one inch diameter sections. Doesn't really matter the length, diameter for the grinder. So the next step is to cut the fat into one inch sections as well. I'm gonna do that. I've got 10 pounds of burger, one pound of fat, 10%. So it's it's good to be precise, so make sure you use a, a scale that'll handle that kind of weight. Cut this up into small sections. So those are about one inch diameter chunks. And this is beef suet. You can get from any um, meat place, Winco, Safeway, Fred Meyers, anywhere. Um, works really well. This is beef, you can use pork. Um, I really like pork, but you know, it also depends on the availability of everything. It's important to start with fresh, clean um, elk. And you can leave, as you can see, you can leave fat in there. Just do not leave the ligaments. So now that I've got my fat cut up into one inch sections right there, I'm gonna turn on the grinder. All right, so now that I got my one pound of fat ground up separate from the meat, so you can get a good consistency on it. Um, so I'm gonna throw this. Like I said, you want this always to stay cold. So I'm going straight into the fridge with this. All right, so I'm gonna run 10 pounds of elk burger through, and you can see it's got a little bit of fat on there. So it's gonna be a little over 10% fat, uh, probably 11, 12, but makes for very good use for everything. So back, got my one pound of beef suet, beef fat. Dumping that in, get all of it. Now that I dumped that fat in the bowl, I'm gonna hand mix it. This is why it's important to keep it cold because it'll get warmer as you're doing this, as this process. So I'm going to take this mixture 10%, 11% fat, and run it back through the grinder one more time. All right, so now that we've finished grinding all of our beautiful Roosevelt Elk Burger, what I'm gonna do, if you vacuum seal it from here, what it's gonna do is it's gonna pancake in a vacuum seal bag, and it's going to just get so thin that it's more likely to be freezer burned, so you want it in a bigger section. I'm gonna do it in one pound sections because most recipes call for one pound. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take elk burger. This is a quart bag. So 1.06, so that's pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is seal it almost all the way, let the air out of it. I'm gonna hit it like that to get all in the bottom, like that. So now I'm gonna open it a hair, fold it over, seal it, make sure there's no air, and it's going in the freezer just like this in a one pound brick. I'll stack them once they're frozen, then from here I'll double it up and vacuum seal this bag. Guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. Until I started doing this myself a couple years ago, I never really thought too much about what went into my meat, but half the time I went to the butcher shop, and there's some really good butcher shops around us, but half the time that I took my meat there, sure, it saves me a couple hours of time. Sure, it saves me having to do my own meat. It saves me a little bit of effort. Um, that's it, that's all it saves. I'll tell you what, 
I cannot count how many times, even to the good butcher shop, I've taken beautiful meat in and I've gotten back a gamey, hairy product that I know was clean going into it. It's so much more fulfilling and rewarding to know that I took that meat and it's in the finished product and never touched anybody else's hands and it never got mixed in with someone else's meat. And that's usually what the butcher shops will do, um, even the good ones. They'll mix the meats, huge piles of burger, and they keep track of the poundages. Well, I know exactly that this is 100% dad's bull. He killed a couple days ago, added some beef fat to it. I know the poundages, and I know it's clean. And I know it's gonna be way better than anything we ever could have gotten out of the butcher shop. So there's a lot to be said. You guys need to give this a try, trust me. You guys need to try this. It's well worth your time. A um, little bit of preparation. That grinder, that LEM grinder is like 70 bucks. And it's done two elk, so two, three elk so far. And with a couple friends and some good beer, you'll be loving life. Just not too much beer. Just not too much. Don't wanna lose any fingers in that grinder. I'm sure it would do the trick. So you guys gotta give it a try. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe uh, if, you, if you like what I'm putting out. I love making the videos, and, and if you guys have any ideas for more videos, shoot them my way. All right, guys, have a good day.